I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Hello, everyone. I'm home, relaxing, and it's Saturday and it's July 29th, and I'm in a couple of health groups. And one of the people from in um, Team Believe, um, a coach, Coach Ramona, who's a beach body coach, she gave us a challenge to get moving throughout the day. And she said, even if it's a second, even if it's a minute. And that really encouraged me because it's Saturday and I'm a little bit laying around, resting, relaxing, and everything. And I do plan to do some type of workout today for an extended period of time, um, depending upon what's on my part to do. But I, I really appreciate her encouraging us to do something throughout the day. Sometimes we, sometimes some of us, we say, well, I don't have a set amount of time to work out. I don't have 30 minutes. I don't have an hour. Sometimes that's not the truth, but sometimes depending upon a person's schedule, they may not have it. And if they do have it, they're so drained from working. What do you do when you, you really do want to work out? But still, you know, your schedule and your work and everything, children, you know, family, friends, a lot of other things, you know, that that, that we are doing that's important too is um, takes up a lot of time. So I found, like, again, I, I found that encouraging. Like, if you can do something for one minute here or a three minutes there or even a second there, like, I know when I'm on a train station, sometimes I'll do this. Watch. I'm going to back up so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll do this. Oh, let me put the camera down so, so you can see it better. Okay, you can't see my face, but I want you to see my feet. This is what I'll do. So instead of being at the bus stop, instead of being at the bus stop and just standing, let me raise this up. So instead of just standing at the bus stop or anywhere where I'm just standing, not doing anything, I'll move, you know? So going back to what was in the group, she mentioned squats. So I'm going to do some squats, but I'm also going to show a couple of moves that I do sometimes when I'm just standing at a post, standing at a bus stop, and or wherever, and it's discreet. I mean, somebody may, somebody that's paying attention to you may notice it, but it's not like you're like at the bus stop, which I do that too. I ain't going front. I do that at the bus stop. People looking like this girl is crazy. Oh well, I'm praising the Lord. Listen, people do what they want to do. They want to smoke their crack and drink their drink and do whatever on the street, curse and carrying on, which I know of all about that life. Why can't I praise my God out and about wherever I am? So that's the mindset I try to have. So when the enemy comes, you look crazy. Okay, yeah, a lot of people look crazy doing a lot of things. Big deal. But anyway, so I'm gonna do the squats. And then I'm going to do the two moves. I'm going to show two moves that I do sometimes when I'm standing at a post, a bus stop, or any place where it's just stagnant. Hold on. So I'm going to do my squats. Let me turn this down some more. Some movement is better than none, for real. I try to position my camera a different way. It's not shaking. But it was shaking where yeah, I had it before. Let me do my squats. Okay, so I'm going to just do my squats. You don't really got to see my feet for that. And I usually squeeze my glutes when I come up. So it's like squeezing it. I learned that from Sean T. 
um, you know, to squeeze your glutes because that helps with the muscles, build muscle there too, and definition. So, I'm going to put the feet. Do what I was doing. I already showed you the first one, so I mean, right? Let me just mark that. I want to put some other music. Music really helps me. The kind of music I listen to really helps me when I'm doing exercise movement. So here we go. And then I may go, you see, so that's two moves, right? Well, I'll do a couple more, because huh, I'm in the mood. <laughs> Keep going. Sometimes you can do it faster. See? Then you can do point flex. They do this in a lot of dance classes, point flex. Angles. And it does help with your thighs because if you have to, when you think about it, it takes balance to be on one foot and then you can turn it clockwise. Then you can go counterclockwise. Right? So how many, you do as many counts as you want. What works for you. And I know if you have mobility issues with your foot and with your feet, it helps, you know? Okay, so that's it for now. Let me take a seat for a moment. So, yeah, so those two group, that group is, I believe, with Ramona. Um, she's a beach body coach. And I'm in another group called, um, for the health of it, Michelle Carrizano. And um, she's really a go-getter. She's really someone that, despite all that comes against her, she mentions it a lot of time on her Facebook page. That with, you know what she battles with with her body, she still works out and still sticking in there. So those are two people like I really, the Lord really showed me like they are really like blessed, and um, I get a lot of support and help from them. And so anyway, so yeah, so just move, move, you know, different part to the day. Even if you can't do a full ex full workout, go on YouTube, look up one minute workouts or something. I'll be posting some things on my health blog on this channel, on my channel here. And hopefully it'll inspire someone, motivate someone, encourage someone, including you that's watching. All right, God bless you. And remember, Jesus loved you. And like I told Ramona yesterday, I said, she said, that's right, just move, right? Because I was saying how I just, um, I showed a video on this, um, this really gentle medicine ball workout. And she was like, that's right. That's what I'm saying. Just move. And I said, yeah, I like to move it, move it. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.